Hello and welcome back to Physical Science Online Lab. Uh, today we're doing the Half-Life Lab. This has to do with nuclear energy. Although, uh, just being upfront with you, half-lives are not directly on the test any longer. This is just kind of cool, like background knowledge, slash I get enough questions about it, slash it's a cool half a day activity. Um, it used to be even more cool, as I even see I left it there. We used to do this with Skittles or M&Ms and used to get to eat some. However, COVID safe. Uh, now we're going to do a coin simulator instead. Um, not quite as fun, not quite as intriguing, not as tasty, that's for sure. But it is what it is for this year. So real quick, uh, what is Half-Life? Half-Life has to do with nuclear fission. And it is uh, when atoms decay, when they split apart, fission means they split apart. This just naturally happens. Uh, so outside of nuclear reactors or words messing with conditions, uh, unsta all unstable elements just kind of naturally fall apart over time. And it's really weird. This, this process is com almost completely random for individual atoms. But when you get a large sample of atoms, which if you remember each individual atom, there's, there's billions and billions and billions of them, even in a, uh, the, like the point of a needle, they're really, really tiny, really, really tiny. So even a small sample by our standards is lots of them, is what I'm trying to say. Then uh, that randomness kind of gets a rate. There, there's a rate at which that random happening happens. And we call that a half-life. A half-life is the time it would take for half of your sample to randomly decay. And it's, a, it's pretty consistent. It's kind of weird to think of something random being consistent. But at that large scale, those random happenings, just like flipping a coin, is 50-50. And if you do it enough times, it comes out to 50-50. Or actually 51-49. I flipped thousands and thousands and thousands of coins in high school once and, did, and figured out that it's 51-49. Heads happens a little bit more often. Um, that that randomness gets a, a rate, and that rate is called the half-life. So that's questions one and two. Question three is that not all half-lives are the same. So different atoms, different things, different conditions are going to have different half-lives, uh, and we can we can analyze those. We know each one through through doing our research and through lots of data collection, but each one is going to be different. And that's how we use them. We use them differently. Carbon dating, if you ever heard of that. We use uranium for, for reactors. And then we mess with the, the rate of which they fall apart too. Uh, so we use them differently based on all of that as well. So here's basically your lab today. You're going to um, flip, because you're going to use a simulator, coins. And then the heads up ones are the ones that didn't decay. And the, the tails up ones are the ones that did decay. So if you go to this random coin generator, you're just going to set it to 100 coins. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. 100. I don't care what type of coin you pick. Um, go for whatever. And then you hit flip. Woo. Takes a little, like, five, four or five seconds here. Bada, bada, blah. And you get these coins flipped. And I'm going to count up the number of heads and the number of tails. Write it in my chart here. That will be, we'll consider that three seconds, even though it wasn't. And then however many survived, however many were head up, face up, I would put into my next one. Let's say for the, for argument's sake that it was 50, I would go back and I would flip 50 coins because those are the number that survived and do it again and keep going until I got to zero coins left or until I got to that many trials. Do it twice to see if you get the same data. Do a little bit of uh, answering some questions and some graphing. I know graphing is tough online. Try it out. And then um, you're good to go for today's lab. So hopefully that helps clarify any questions. If not, be sure to ask and have a good day. Bye.